to the next slide. That is seventh from seventh. Mm -hmm. Now seventh from seventh is the first house. Yes. So that is why this becomes a very important one when it comes to our relationships, mm -hmm. when it comes to our partnership. Mm -hmm. What is the condition of your first house? You, that is why, you know, whatever is in your back of the mind, you know, what kind of partner you want, you will get that partner only. Oh. Because you don't have it yours in you, in you. You lack that. Okay. That is why it is going to, it's not a competing house. It's a completing house. Bhavad Bhavam principle is a completing one. Complete. It's a completing energy. Okay, makes sense. Not a competing energy. So that is why partnership business, business collaborations, interpersonal dynamics, legal and contractual relationships, live in relationships. What is your mental setup? Okay. How you can have karmic connections. We must see both these houses. It's not just for the spousal one. It is with everyone. What kind of relationship you want with others. See, uh, Tata, uh, Tata Pinde, Tata Brahmande. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's that. If I'm, if uh, I'm wrong, you can correct me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I also don't know exactly, but something similar. Okay. It's like what whatever you are inside, you will see the world the same way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that is why you actually, you know, meet those kinds of people only who you you yourself, you know, from inside you are actually. Oh. You are actually manifesting those kinds of energies only. You will see people are fighting, bickering and all. They will meet those kinds of people only. You will see that. Okay. And if you are meeting, uh, you know, very silent people, cool souls and, you know, very compatible to each other in one go. So that is because you from inside are manifesting that. So first and seventh connection is a karmic connection. Mm. It's from not just this lifetime, it's from ages, from many, many lifetimes. And mm. this is how you get the opportunity to grow, opportunity to res resolve your karma mm. and have a primary relationship that way, which is going to be giving you that success also. Okay. Mm. In the, all the all sorts of karma and relationships, you will definitely be having good alliances depending on your personal relationship. Now, what Dasha and Antri Dasha would be active here. There will be multiple now. I'll tell you why, but you tell me first. So uh, Mars, Venus, and Saturn could be involved. Yes. And, uh, Sun will also be involved. Who will be? Sun. Sun, okay. Sun. Okay. Okay. Sun, okay. Jupiter, Mercury, because Mercury is Digbala in the first house. Oh, I see. Saturn, so, okay. Venus. They all will be, and in the seventh house, as it is, it exalts Digbali also Saturn is. So yeah. all these will be very important. They, they will play out a very major and important role in your life if you are in the dasha and dasha of these planets. Okay. So if then you have to check where these planets are in your chart. Uh -huh. That is how you will interpret, no? Correct. What correct. kind of person will come into your life? You will get to know from the placement of these planets. Correct. Not just the seventh house lord period. No, it's not like that. Okay. Yes. Coming yes. to the next one. Eighth from eighth is the third house. Yes. Okay. Now, this is uh, death of death, basically. <laughs> so whatever has to end, that also has to end, no? Oh, okay. Yeah. So if it is misery, it has to end. Mm. So how it is going to end? When is it going to end? will be dependent on this. Some people are crying, howling, whining. Oh my God, when will my problem end? I'm in a terrible pain. Check your third house. Mm, Check your okay. third house. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is upheaval of the upheaval. When yeah. is it going to, you know, end? So whenever you are in the crisis situation, third house will suggest how you will combat that. Okay. That is how the remedy will come. You should do this planet's remedy. And you will be sorted. Suppose there is a, you know, for all the lagnas, the, you know, the remedies are almost fixed, actually. Mm -hmm. Suppose it's a Taurus one, you see. For Taurus, Sagittarius is an eighth house. Correct. Correct? Correct. So from the Sagittarius sign, uh, Cancer is the eighth house. Mm -hmm. So Jupiter and can uh, moon related remedies only will work. Oh, I see. Okay. For Taurus natives. So if you do the remedies, even if they are weak, str very strong in your chart, but you must do the remedies for these because then only you will get the relief. 
the relief will come from there. Right. Propitiate, mantras, all that. So adapt, adaptation to change, resilience, adaptability, we see from these. And return to routine. Third house governs communication, intellect, daily activities. Hmm. When influenced by the eighth house or it's forming a connect. Suppose you have eighth lord and your third lord seated together. Mm -hmm. So this will actually be whenever, you know, you have any kind of complication, you should actually check these and they will give you the routine and activities after experiencing upheavals or crisis. You will come out of it also. Okay. Because they're together. Okay. So you resume your daily tasks, communication, interaction. You will find stability. You know, there will be rhythm which will be formed. Okay. But after upheavals and uh, pain. Okay. So that's how. Okay. And people definitely have that resilience and inner strength. When you check the eighth house from other, that is how we actually access how this person is going to take it. What is the pain? How the pain will end? So what what are the dasha antra dasha first? Mars and Mercury. Mars, Mercury. Yes. We have to check that. They are the significant ones. And yes. you must also see that Eighth house is actually Saturn's, Saturn plays a very important role also because he's the Karaka of eighth okay. house. Okay, Karaka, yes, indeed. Whenever there is delay and frustration, we as it is see Saturn's condition, longevity, unwell if you are. So you must see from the eighth house, okay? Okay. And Saturn. So coming to the ninth from nine to ninth is the fifth house, okay? Ninth from ninth is the fifth house. Now, fifth house is actually how wise you are. What is your timing in life? Romance and all, you know, we see. So okay. what is the timing? What is it that you have, you know, that wisdom we see from the ninth house? Sorry. So when we're talking about uncovering insights into matter related to wisdom, timing, gamesmanship, we see this oh. connection. Okay. Because fifth house is the gamesmanship. Remember, speculation we see, right? From mm -hmm. there. How clever is the person? How wise is the person? So any planet which is in the ninth house, forming a connection with the fifth house, you will say he's very crafty. Okay, five nine connection. Okay. Right. Though it is a dharma, dharma trikona connectivity, same element connectivity. So this, but this will definitely give you that breakthrough, no? For the reading, okay, this person is going to be like this. Hmm. Is he going to make money out of speculation? Oh, I see. Okay. Is he going to be successful? Is he a wise speculator? Okay. okay. <laughs> or how is his uh, relationship, you know, romance? We have to see the ninth house condition also here. Okay. okay. Yes. Strategic thinking. Uh, like foresight what is your foresight how you participate you know when you are arise uh, when you get the uh, opportunities as well as challenges in life how you deal with them hmm. always see the ninth and the fifth house fourth they are complementary to each other no bhavat bhavam right. so your entrepreneurship skills intellectual pursuits timing of everything we see from these places decision making speculation how, what is your potential? Basic potential. That is why Dharma Trikona is very important. If you have Rahu there, remember, you are you're not going to follow Dharma for oh, that reason. I see. You're very clever. You're very crafty and you will make money out of money. That is why speculation income Rahu in the fifth house, I say, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I do see eighth house, but no, ninth house is more important. How will he make money out of money? Is he really intelligent, wise, wise enough? Interesting. Okay. Yes. 10th from 10th is the 7th house. Mm -hmm. Again, very important about your career. You see from your 7th house. Right? So, oh. Uh, oh, I missed out on one thing. The Dasha, I think. In the previous one. So, the Dasha, of course, we know is going to be of Sun and, oh. and Jupiter. Okay. Okay, 10th from 10th is the 7th house. Mm -hmm. Now, 7th house is about your dignity, yes. your honor, your promotions. We have to see this. Yeah. So, the success of your 10th house comes from the, the, the root is the 
seven pounds. Hmm. That is why people say the luck enhancement happened. I got married and in, in, immediately, you know, I made money. I lost a lot of money after getting into this business. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we see the seventh house, tenth from tenth, career, dignity, advancement. How we are going to be growing in profession? Whether we are going to have a traveling job? Whether we are going to be having, uh, you know, desk job? Are we going to have a stable job, a stable career? Are we going to be doing well in partnership business? Uh, are we going to get that reputation? So tenth from tenth is the most important for. Career advancement, stability, longevity of career. Correct. correct. Tenth from tenth is longevity of career also. That is seventh house. Mm -hmm. Okay. So career, professionalism, integrity, uh, advancements, uh, gaining of recognition, leadership skills, your uh, uh, you know milestones that you are achieving. So all that we must see from our seventh house also. If they are forming a good connection with each other, especially. And that is the reason you see in the natural zodiac, second and eleventh lord, tenth and seventh lord are Saturn and Venus only. Oh, okay. Okay. And that is the reason they are the dhana giving planets. If you have Saturn and Venus, you are sorted for life. Remember, you will never spread your hand in front of anyone. You will get whatever you want, whenever you want. Oh, interesting. The okay. natural zodiac, they are that is why 10th from 10th is Venus is sign, no? So Saturn, uh -huh. Venus, Dasha is that is why, you know, it is really very tough. At the same time, it gives you towards the end a lot abundantly. Okay, interesting. Okay. Venus, Saturn, Saturn, Venus. Brilliant. See, no, it's right there in front of you. So yes. it's very, it's very important to check Venus and Saturn. The second age that we are in. 11th from 11th is the 9th house now. Hmm. 9th house is the 11th for... So that means it's success of your friends, basically. How good are your friends? Mm -hmm. We can see from... Can you see 9th house so, is so important? It yeah. was 5th from 5th also. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Very so it is 11th from 11th. Gain of the 11th house is to be seen from the 9th house. Mm -hmm. So friends of friends... How your social networks are, how your connectivity with your friends are, how long will be the friendship, whether you will have good friends or not. See from the ninth house also. See oh. from the maybe you know your friends are not sharing with you. Sometimes it so happens, you know that uh, no, we are not uh, meeting anyone else. You know you're my best friend. Sometimes you know they hide, they conceal, and they're doing something behind your back. Yeah. So see your ninth house. It must be afflicted. <laughs> it must have. So if you have, you know, your boss also, you know, sometimes what happens, your co-workers, your boss, they just, you know, they connect and they conspire against you. Okay, let's sack him, you know, or sack her. Yeah. Check your ninth house. That's your 12th house from 10th also. But it is the 11th house from 11th, ninth house. Yeah. So that will decide your uh, influence and uh, your boss's influence on you as well. Okay. 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 It is it is about uh, sometimes you know if you have Rahu in your ninth house, okay, yeah. that means that the your friends are going to deceive you someday. Okay. Your boss is not going to be friendly with you. He will always be showing that he is, but he will be showing his true colors one fine day. So remember, eleventh from eleventh, we have a, uh, you know, Rahu there. If at all, it's there. Okay. It's about how you, you, you know, what community you move around in. Mm, okay. It's the community's community, no? So it's like yeah. extension, right? Yeah. Uh, your wife, you know, is maybe following some other guru and you're following some other guru. Mm. That you check from this. That is why it is the house of religion also, philosophy also. Oh, okay. And that is why what you believe, your belief system. See how it has come up. We, we don't get into the detail. We know 9,000 is religion, but why? Mm. Right, your father is following something else. Your mother is following something else. Correct. Your ninth house from ninth house, your eleventh house is third, but from your fourth house, it is the eighth house. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, so yes. The belief system is completely different. That is why mostly, you know, parents' viewpoint doesn't match. <laughs> mostly, it does. But I've seen. But it's good. 
uh, why have uh, we are we, we we don't think they they are brother sister so it's okay <laughs> so so what kind of formation of community bonds you will have what kind of supportive social network you you will have all that you can see from here the most important dasha periods would be saturn and jupiter as well as venus okay okay venus is overall your community your friends mm. your friends you mix with okay oh. rahu also partially we see rahu also okay okay now the last one that is 12th from 12th now what is 12th from 12th it's the 11th house hmm. now 12th from 12th is about your final emancipation hmm. okay what is your inclination towards that how you will get it your gains desires how you will fulfill it hmm. once you are satiated it's over isn't it yeah yes 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 so you're done with it you're done with that life that is why uh, you know your um, 12th house from 12th is 11th it is about your friendships and associations also what kind of charity who you want to be charitable to what kind of money you give what kind of uh, goods you give to the underprivileged we see from this place mm -hmm. charity is 12th house okay okay right? so charity what kind of what is your income and what is your expenditure we see from these two places so it is also about your sources of income maybe you are going to be connecting to if there is a connection your source of income is from the foreign land. Check in your chart also. In everybody's chart, whosoever is having a foreign job, you should check 12th and the 11th house also. People see only 4th house, 6th house, 8th house, 9th house, 12th house for foreign. But you should see the 11th house and 12th house relation to each other. Jupiter and uh, Rahu as well as Saturn's connection is a must. Oh. And the dasha also, of course, has to be conducive. Okay? okay. So, 11th house represents your hopes, your wishes, your goals. And 12th house suggests your aspirations and desires also. And matters related to isolation and spirituality in the foreign land or maybe, you know, with foreigners or foreign connections. Something to do with, uh, in a very different stream, you know, you might just be gaining okay. uh, those, right? So this is what is about the connectivity of the Bhavad Bhavam principle with your in your chart. Okay, I'll just take a minute. I'll drink water. Yeah, please. Yeah. 